try to make you a video. Um, I am driving, but my husband ordered me this really neat um, phone holder slash charger. I don't really know what it's called. Um, so I don't have to look at you guys and I don't have to hold the phone or anything. I can just talk because if I don't do this now, um, I'm not going to get it done. I am 37 weeks and six days today. I'll be 38 weeks tomorrow. And um, I went to my OB last week. <sighs> yeah. I went to my OB two weeks ago and was checked and was at about one centimeter. And I don't know if I told you guys that or not, but um, in the last video. But I was at about one centimeter and um, I ended up going back, of course, the next week and they didn't check me at all. And the doctor was like barely into my room for like five minutes. Um, so I really didn't have time to ask, ask to be checked or anything like that. So I knew going into this week's um, checkup that I would be, that I would ask to be checked. But I ended up going in a day early um, cause I have a lot of pressure down there. Um, I had to leave work early. I couldn't walk because of the pressure. Um, I was still having Braxton Hicks contractions, but, um, they weren't painful, but it was enough to, I had to stop walking because I literally started peeing myself because I couldn't control it because of all the, the pressure down there. I couldn't stop it. Um, so I called the doctor and they said, go ahead and come on in and get checked. So I went on in. It was a different doctor checked me last time. And we all know that one doctor's one centimeter might be another doctor's, you know, nothing. Um, or, you know, barely anything at all. So anyways, I went in um, and got checked and I was still a centimeter. He said, oh, you're, you're one centimeter. So two weeks, I was still a centimeter, which has happened. With my son, I think I was one centimeter for like a month. Um, but I was checked a lot earlier, um, but anyways, um, and I was still thick. So he said, just go home. He's, if it gets worse, go to labor and delivery. And, um, that was Tuesday. He said to keep my appointment for Wednesday and to go, um, in which Wednesday, all they did was again, took another urine sample, which they took when I was, while I was there Tuesday, the day before and measured me, which they did while I was there Tuesday, and listened to baby's heartbeat, which they did while I was there Tuesday. So really it was just a wasted trip um, because the pressure hadn't gotten any worse. I hadn't had any regular contractions. Um, it, everything was still the same as it was the day before. I was still having issues walking around. Um, so they did write me out of work um, for next couple weeks or until baby's due and then four weeks after so I get to go back four weeks after baby is born and right now that is wrote down as like November November the 4th I believe or 3rd something like that um, so that was a lot to put in there and I know I sound out of breath because I am as of this morning I haven't had any Real contractions, um, just pressure, of course, same as it has been for the last three days. Um, but no, not even Braxton Hicks contraction this morning yet. Um, I did go visit someone in the hospital and ended up walking a lot because the people had no idea where they were sending us, really. Um, so, ended up walking a lot, which is fine. Need to walk. It's okay. Um, but I'm also having some discharge that's more like a... Um, the bloody show would be it's uh, but it's very very small amounts it's nothing big um so maybe that's a sign that baby will come this weekend or next week or whenever i'm kind of hoping um uh, this weekend just because my in-laws will still be in town um next tuesday they're going to rhode island for the week uh to visit um my husband's great uncle and so they'll be there which doesn't really matter because it's not like they're going to be at the hospital with me when I have the baby. But um, my father-in-law is also my pastor. So a part of me really wants him here when I have the baby. Um, just so I can, but e either way, I can call him and FaceTime him and all that stuff, good stuff. Um, 
as long as he's praying for me, I'm good. So um, that's my update. Now, that's heartburn is still crazy, but somehow this baby is high and low at the same time. It's going to be a very long baby. Um, so that's, that's the update. 38 weeks tomorrow. Hopefully I can, I will be posting a video really soon saying, Hey guys, in labor. Um, and just leave it at that and we'll go from there. So I am picking up my kids from school and then going back home and I guess just walking around do, doing whatever makes me feel comfortable because right now sitting, I'm not comfortable and laying down, I'm not comfortable. So, um, mostly just walking around and standing and bouncing on the yoga ball and, um, doing that makes me comfortable. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing. And if it gets baby here, it gets baby here. If it doesn't, then what can you do about it? Right? So that's the update for a week. 36 and 37 and so we'll just see how the rest of this two weeks go as hopefully baby does not go past due dates so who knows and uh thankfully my i am will be coming to town next wednesday if baby doesn't come before then so um a part of me wants baby to come soon like this weekend but a part of me wants doesn't want her have to, to Ooh, I can't even talk. A part of me doesn't want her to have to rush to get here. I want her to be able to be here and not be panicky like, oh my goodness, the baby's going to come before I make it. Because I would really hate for that to happen. I mean, I know it happens and I can't control it, but I would hate for that to happen. So that's the update and it's not very long, but still, that's it. That's all we have. So hopefully baby will be here soon and... I don't know. <laughs> I'll be sharing the birth story with you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.